Today I'm going to show you how to create viral illusion diffusion images just like this. Completely for free. Now you could try using the hugging face space, but there's so many people on it right now that it takes a long time or just doesn't work and gives you a bunch of errors. So I found this Google collab that someone made. All the credit goes to them. And here you can use it completely for free and it's super fast. So just go to the link in the description. Now it's super easy to do. So you just want to come to this first cell and click this first play button here. You'll get a warning, just hit run anyway. Now this will just take a little bit of time to set up. You only have to do this once, just be a little bit patient. Now once that's done, you go to the second cell, upload original image, hit the play button there, and that'll instantly give you this. Here you can choose your initial photo that you want to change into an illusion diffusion image. Now we're just going to take this Scarlett Johansson picture that'll upload very quickly and here we can type in our prompt. So this is what we want the photo to turn into. So for the image in my thumbnail of this video, I just typed in a lot of people. Now this is stable diffusion so you can make it as detailed as you want. Now in the negative prompt you can just leave it like this or you can add this which I found makes the image higher quality and more consistent. I'll leave this whole negative prompt in the description so you can just copy paste that. So you want to hit this play button here again after you filled it in. Scroll down. We're going to leave all these sliders the same. You can play around with the guidance scale if you want and then under generate output image we're just going to hit the play button again and this should only take a minute and there we go there's a bunch of people sometimes it's a little bit hard to see though so you have to scroll out and there we go there's ScarJo. now this tool works best if you use images that have high contrast as you can see her face here is very high contrast in this photo the pale skin the black around the eyes and the red lips and everything now while this can work very well for people i found it works the best for flat images like logos and stuff so let's scroll back up here we're going to hit this little cross next to the image we uploaded hit the play button again now I've just chosen a Facebook logo. In the prompt, let's put in a beautiful seaside village. Hit play again, and let's run that one. And there we go. Definitely the Facebook logo there. Isn't that cool? Now I'm going to show you how to add a little life to these images. So you want to join the Pika Labs Discord. I'll leave a link in the description. And then we're going to come over to one of these generate tabs. Then we're going to type in slash animate. And you'll be prompted to upload an image. So we'll just put in that Scarlett Johansson one we made with the people. And then you want to describe what you want to see in the image. So I want to see these people walking. So we'll just type in people walking. Hit enter. And it will start generating our video. This shouldn't take too long. And here's what it made. As you can see, the people are moving around a bit. And it put a bit of life into this video. So this was just a quick video. I wanted to show you how to make these images. If you like this video, you'll probably like this one as well. Please subscribe.